today's video is going to be a review of a film that I saw this week. Literally, the day it came out. Huh. Spider-Man. Far From Home. Which, I, I mean, I review most of the Marvel films, so it shouldn't be terribly surprising, really, should it? Far From Home is the latest MCU film, the latest Spider-Man film, the latest, uh, probably some other part of the franchise film, technically, sort of, as well. There are going to be spoilers in this review, so um, don't get in a huff when you see some, or hear some, rather. Spider-Man Far From Home gives Peter a new point to be going away from. And it's really, really interesting that they're just continuing to stay away from origin stories whatsoever in the Spider-Man films that are in the MCU because they really had just overdone them a little bit when they were doing the first trilogy and the second trilogy. So now we've got just two that barely have any origin stuff in them, really. This one and the previous one. And Spider-Verse as well, to a certain extent. A little bit. We also get Mysterio, who's just a joy, a joy to watch in this film. He's brilliant. Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal? Gyllenhaal? I'm not sure how you're meant to pronounce his name just magnificent as uh, the scheming bastard Mysterio. Just brilliant. Brilliant. They did a really good job of showing him as just slimy bastard because <laughs> he was just brilliant. And I just, yeah, really good. Really good. Other good stuff in this film included MJ guessing Peter's identity. Um, and then just having to backtrack and be like, holy shit, it's actually real. And she wasn't that certain that it was actually him. All the trailers made out, like, she was going to be so in the know. She'd realised it already. She was just like, oh, why won't you tell me? And then in this, she's like, because you're Spider-Man. I'm not Spider-Man, no. She's still not quite buying it. And then he's like, yes, I am Spider-Man. And... She's like, oh, I wasn't even that sure. <laughs> I really liked that. I, I felt like Peter being so oblivious in this film in some ways was really done to aid the plot because he kind of reached Harry Potter levels of obliviousness because he could have worked out that they, that, that, that there was a lot of lying around Mysterio from the moment that the whole bar scene happened. Why was no one questioning the fact that they were in there with their masks off? Come on, Peter, you're better than that. You're. Uh, t t uh, was he? It's a difficult question, really, isn't it? Just, yes. The whole getting inside Peter's head with the sort of illusion tech stuff was just great as well. I am interested in. Why Mysterio chose 616 as the universe number? Like, just as a nod to the fans? Or because there's something else? I don't know. It's interesting. I do just love his little speech when he revealed all to the audience, which was just brilliant. That's the sort of thing we believe now! <laughs> so the one thing that I actually have any sort of plot holding criticism for is when did Fury, or the real Fury maybe, get the whole uh, glasses from Stark? When, when did that happen? Because, well, did, did he get that... Did, did he get that during the five year gap in Infin in uh, Endgame? Did he, when, because was the real Fury the one that got dusted or not? Obviously the stinger at the end there. And like, how does that all fit together? When would Stark have gotten the chance to do that? 
that's really what I want to know is how how did Stark get the t time to do that? Maybe he did it the just before the mission, but then hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I do love the way that different relationships really frame the narrative a lot. The whole relationship between Peter and MJ and the the other ones, um, Ned and Betty and what a face, um, May and Happy. Like those three relationships kind of frame it. There's uncertainty as to the start of for Ned and uh, for all of them, and it kind of comes and goes over the course of the film. It's it's interesting, and I don't know quite what to make of it, but it's pretty good. Those are my thoughts on this film. I'm sure I could probably just waffle on for a lot longer, but my dinner is basically ready, so gotta cut it short sometime. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this film. I would love to know what you thought, so down there. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails down below to see other videos by me, and I will see you guys next time.